<laughs> what are you laughing at? Ah, uh, this. What? Hmm. A wife sent her husband this picture and the message said, come home early, I've got a surprise for you. So he raced home, almost crashing the car, thinking he was about to get lucky, only to find that she just adopted a black cat. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cat, not That's a panties. cat, not panties. You dirty, dirty, dirties. Just Hey, welcome back to our stupid directions. It's up, Corbin. I'm Rick. You follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks for that Patreon. Subscribe to the button. Follow us on Rick's channel in the description below. There's the squirrel. 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 Today uh, we're reacting to a little uh, interview. X. We've seen a, a, a different part of this interview. It's the one with a, a bunch of people from South uh, Industries, Hindi Industries. Ranveer's there. Alia's VJ is there. Oh yeah, in a this is VJ uh, Sarapathy and uh, Ranveer talk about super deluxe obviously vj was the uh, transgender yeah uh in that and did a phenomenal job yep my uh, favorite part of the film uh he, once again rick is dumb uh but you know, we have already reacted that, that to... was my favorite part of the film yeah because i love that film well that's fine but uh, you could agree that yeah but i can call job. you dumb you can't uh you can be wrong which is my favorite part of this channel oh and he's so fun uh no <laughs> we have already reacted to a few experts of this interview uh talks about uh his perform, uh, performance in Super Deluxe and Ranveer shares his thoughts about the film as well. Cool. Uh, so, uh, where is it? I don't know. There it is. Found it. I found it. I found it. Jesus. So you remember, you've seen clips of, uh, yes. I think all these people were in No Luck by Chance. <laughs> That's probably true. Well, some of them were. No, they weren't. No, they weren't. No. No, in fact, none of them no. were. No. No, none of them were. They're all too young, I think. Yeah. Well, probably not, I guess. Well, Manoj is Manoj not too is. young. He, but he, wasn't, in he, he wasn't in it. If he was, it was something we missed. Was uh, VJ Robinson there? Did we miss? Probably. Oh, God, that would suck. You know who wasn't in it and could have been and should have been? Who? Sartaj. That's true. Come on. Where was Safe Ali Khan? Here we go. Went off here with Super Deluxe. Yeah, but when he was there, it's because I liked it so much. Because the way it was written was so awesome, man. Uh, I like the way when I was telling my. When one scene, my kid asked me why you didn't born as a female. That yeah. scene was written so well, and I, I decided that I don't want to miss this film. I don't know how I'm, how I'm going to do this, but mm -hmm. I don't want to miss this film. So I told him I begged him actually. So you don't need to pay me any money, then I just want to do this film. So on the first day, first scene, it took about, I think, 50, 60 takes, I think. 50, 60 takes? So. Mm -hmm. Then finally, I realized that a female inside me. Mm. Then I got confidence. Mm. So I don't want to. I, ne I never ever wanted to copy from anybody. It's just I want to feel inside me. Good. See, if it touches me, that uh, I never go and watch the monitor also. You don't see the monitor. No, I don't. I don't see the monitor. So I just have to feel inside. If it touches me, then I feel it's okay. Mm. So I don't mind the. And I don't believe in the concept of uh, doing one take or two takes. So mm. it, it takes n number of takes. That doesn't matter. So because I don't want to. Well, until uh, you get it. Yeah. Uh, You'll know. Yeah. Art form would. I don't want to make competition with my art form. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, so if I'm competing with my uh, say about my co-art or anybody, it is not competing with my co-art. It is competing with my art form. No. So I don't want. There's no competition. I just want to justify it and yeah. how I want to do it. How I feel it. He seems like a very so genuine guy. Yeah. May I just add at this point, sir? My um, the guy who me, Manish Sharma, he called me and told me, "What super deluxe? There's a ten-year-old kid in there who would make you rethink your whole life and your whole craft." And I was like, "Sir, please, yeah." And then I watched it. Ras Kutti is a phenomenon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Phenomenon. That kid was you awesome. Magic. You guys who whoever hasn't seen it must watch it for the chemistry between you. Yeah. And the child. That kid me. was great. Uh, it was so special. I forget that I like not. The dad said, "Okay, I'll go for one more." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You go for one more immediately. And he says, "Sorry." Yeah. <laughs> He's very good. He's very good. And Kumar has said that he never uh, say okay. He always ask for one more. One more. So yeah, one day that the kid was uh, uh, there is one scene that he's fighting with other kids. No, that's why he by himself a uh, direct. Okay, so the two kids are uh, acting, and he says action. Cut one more. He's not saying okay. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. <laughs> 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 I love you. How long? Ah! Wow. What was 
the end of that video. Why did it end like that? <laughs> We went from a nice, quiet conversation okay, to a freaking funhouse. It's clearly not the original channel. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the that was. I was waiting for <laughs> circus clowns to come out of your wall. Yeah. Uh, VJ seems like a very genuine person. Yeah. Like, he, he seems to... And I loved what he said, actually. Uh, that The fact that it took him 50 or 60 takes to actually start feeling this character. Yeah. And sometimes it takes that long. To, to and sometimes it takes a long sometimes you don't get it but they you literally have to do your job yeah I think people have talked about that uh, people um, actors who are, are well established actors like I didn't get it till multiple days into the shoot yeah and sometimes sometimes struggling in the midst of it yeah like there's a there's a story and he won't care because he's told this publicly but Howard Fine uh, Brad Pitt was doing interview with a vampire mm. and was struggling. He was in New Orleans, and he couldn't find. He did struggle early in his career. What he was, what he was dealing with, and so he he ha he asked Howard to come to New Orleans, and work with him and help him to find because that very thing, and what he, what what he said, what VJ said, is evidence that he is an actor. And what he said was not just the number of takes is kind of immaterial. The only thing that matters with the number of takes is how long you're going, what it costs the production. As far as the artistry is concerned, you just do it till you get it. Yeah. Sometimes you get it in the first take and it's like, that was it. Yeah. And every, and you know, sometimes you it's, it. yeah, sometimes it's seven, eight, nine. And, and you're asking for another take because you're like, I don't know why it's not there. Something's not clicking. And, but when he said, there came a point where he finally found the woman inside of him. Mm -hmm. That is all you need to hear him say to know that that guy's an actor because that's exactly what a good, well-trained actor is going to do. They're not going to be looking for something external to find some kind of a, a gimmick to, per, to, to make you think they're a woman. They're gonna look at the part of themselves that is feminine, the part of themselves that what would it be like if I were this person? Yeah. And and find that and a lot that's why acting training is so important for a lot of actors is because, and I've done this in acting training and classes I've taught, is you need to understand the difference between walls and boundaries and what those are for you as an actor. Because a a, a boundary is a healthy place for yourself where you know that's a role I'm probably not gonna take because I'm not gonna go into that place. That's fine. A wall is where you absolutely should be tapping into that thing and you should be portraying that character. And the only reason you're not doing it is because you have a fear or you have some kind of a hang up. Uh, I remember doing a, 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 an acting workshop. It was with Nathan. Uh -huh. And the very first thing I was waiting to see what kind of buttons were gonna be pushed because mm -hmm. my acting coach was great. First thing she got him to do was cuss like a sailor. <laughs> and he, he, as you know, he was really struggling. He was struggling. That was for him. And he had to come to terms with, is that really a wall for me where I feel like I'm restricted to myself or is that a personal boundary for me? And clearly, he knows the difference between the two and is that's evident in his performance as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was one of my favorite. He works inside out, which you should. Of his. Uh, and, you know, I love that movie. Yeah. Uh, I thought, and I love that kid in it as well. That kid was extremely strong. You have to even admit that. That's my favorite part of the film, and the only thing I really liked about the film was VJ and the relationship with the kid. Everything, most everything else I didn't really like. And don't watch porn. I don't watch porn. <laughs> that was, you went on a rant about Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, that's how I ended that review. That's right. <laughs> yeah, don't watch porn. <laughs> Please. You went on a rant about it. So. Yes, I did. That was... <gasps> that film is great. Don't listen to Rick. He's an idiot. <laughs>